camera leading. All right, let's move on to something closer to home. What's a better way to kick off tonight's spring real estate special than to get advice from a contractor to the stars? All this week, we've had the experts break down crucial tips for buyers and sellers in today's market. And tonight, we've got some great ideas for homeowners who want to stay put. So what features are worth adding to your home? What gives you the best bang for your buck? We're asking million-dollar contractor Stephen Fanuka. Stephen, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. It's so good to have you here. So I was asking you in the break because I am internally fascinated with this topic, of course, being a home owner. What's the one thing that can really add value to a home? Because everybody wants to do it at a different level. Not everybody's paying a million dollars for their reno. That's true. What can I do that's going to add value most? All right. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, things like changing your front door. You know, a home, when a buyer comes in, they like or hate the house within seven seconds. Changing totally that front true. door makes a big difference. Paint the rooms in a neutral color. That allows the person who's looking to buy the home put their ideas into the room as opposed to having high gloss walls and fancy wallpaper. It takes away from their imagination. Um, landscaping, especially this time of year, very important. Taking your backyard, maybe opening it up, putting some pavers down, a barbecue. You're adding square foot to your home. Even from though the outside. it's outside. Yes. All right. So you, we were sitting here in the break and you were saying knocking down internal walls that, you know, aren't holding the, the roof up, right? Yeah. So tell me why that's so valuable. All right. Well, remember in the days we were growing up, we would have that living room and mom would never let us sit down on the couch. They had the plastic. No, no, yes. Oh, you do. So the living room is no longer something we use. We have family rooms and the living rooms and it ends up being a room that's not being used. So I tell people, if you have a small kitchen, consider taking down the wall, opening it up, and taking the living room and using it for something else. You could even swap it out. Put the kitchen in the living room, make it bigger. You want to take every square inch of that home and use it. Make it more useful. I think at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're using every room. That's exactly. what my husband and I think about. All right, let's talk about the kitchen. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's a technical question. Go for Stainless it. Stainless steel over. Stainless steel could be over in certain places. I'm still seeing it on certain backsplashes behind the stove. I'm still seeing it on the stove. I'm not seeing it on the rest of the appliances. I'm seeing them panel now and painted and panel. concealed. They're panel. They look like the, the cabinets, The cabinets right? itself. What else am I doing in the kitchen that's going to add value? You can change, well, the appliances for one without changing the cabinets. Give the cabinets a nice, quick paint job. Change the hardware on the cabinets. You could even keep the countertop, if you like it, change the backsplash, bump it up, give it a pop, paint the ceiling, just change the light fixtures. Another thing, light fixtures. Everything should be on a dimmer. A dimmer gives you a mood, gives you options from one light source. I love that. Okay, bathroom. What do I do in the bathroom that makes it different, special, appealing to, to ultimately to buyers? Well, clean up the grout, clean up the tiles. If you can change the fixtures, change it. Um, quick trick, if you want to go green and you can't afford to make a toilet green, you can take a tank, put a brick in it, and that'll trick the toilet to being green and using less water. But that's not going to get you a homeowner, but that's just a quick trick. That is a good trick. Yeah. Okay. But regrouting, um, changing, maybe resurfacing the cabinet faces, that can help. Cleaning up the grout, giving a quick paint job, maybe a highlight wall of something different. Okay. But tell, you, know, you do this all the time Every on your day. show. Tell us what was your favorite run-in. We just finished a place with Bruce Willis, and he's the nicest guy around. So, so what are his tastes? He's just a simple guy. He's just a good guy. One of my favorites. I'm a lucky guy. I get to do this every day. A contractor is only as good as they were today, and tomorrow we'll find out what's going to happen. So what kinds of, what did you do for him, just quickly? Oh, we redid the whole house. Here's another thing. Taking a door, it's metal. If you have a metal door, strip it and leave it raw. Put some lacquer on it. Huh. Yeah, it's rehabbing. Rehab's another thing. Um, using reclaimed wood, that's hot. Taking off barns and putting it as a highlight wall. LED lighting, that's another big There's thing. There's so many new materials, oh. so many new fixtures. It's, yes. it's really worth exploring. Stephen, great job. So Thank nice you. to see you here. My great pleasure. Great to have you. Thank you.